Okay, just a couple of items to sort of uh, wrap this uh, demo up. Um, first of all, just to show you the, um, re the recording capabilities of the Q32. So the Q32 has got a built-in recorder. It's got two recorders in it. It'll either do um, just the stereo output from left and right, or it'll actually do an 18-track multi-track as well. Um, so here we have, you go to it by the home screen, press the home screen, QU drive, You've got two options, stereo and multi-track. The moment I've queued this up, to do playback. So I press the play key, that will go through there, stop it. Um, we also have got the capability as well of recording. So transport control to hit the record key and it will then name it. Unfortunately, the naming is fixed. Another thing that hopefully they'll fix in the future of the software upgrade, so you can actually name the tracks. There's also a stereo set here as well. Again, same with controls. Because the stereo one might be a bit useful, I've actually brought some of those out to the uh, channel over here. So we can arm, to, in order to record, you have to first arm the recording and then start and stop it. So if I wanted to do a stereo record, I press the arm. It's quite quick and comes up. You can see it's got a pause key there. So if you were on another screen, you'd still see it. And then to start it, you just hit the start key and, and pause it by hitting the stop key. You can stop it by hitting the stop key. Finally, just like to show you some of the effects keys on here. Uh, it's got four effects engines into it. Press the FX key, you end up with a series of effects coming through here. There's lots of good ones in there. You change them by using the front panel control. I'm not going to go into too much detail of that, that's just you read the manual. The other advantage of the uh, digital desks is they offer remote control capabilities. So uh, in here, they're using the uh, iPad here as the remote control. Uh, the application you use is called QUPad. Bring it up. It'll, it, it's on our network. It'll find our Q32. Connect that. And here, we have a facsimile of what's going on. So here's all the channels going through here which we can sw scroll through. And if you make a change on here, it'll actually make a change on the desk. So if I actually bring up the fader here, it brings it on there. Um, you can turn mute channels on and off with the mute lights as well as you go through. You've also got uh, the capabilities of muting, or you can customize the screens as well. So, custom one, for example, here. If I actually do the setup, I can bring my items onto here. So, I can bring piano one and say, but I can also bring up the DCAs as well. Um, so, I can actually control. All the instruments. I do that. Go back to processing. Go to the custom strip. I can now control those from there as well. Really useful. Uh, it's got good coverage um, for something simple such as a, a church meeting, for example. You can go down and control the service. But also, what you can do is change the. Say you wanted to help the musicians tune the fold back. You can go down there with that. If you then select mix one, I uh, hit the inputs. Again, this is now the foldback mix. So if we have the foldback mix on the desk there, I can go down and actually change the foldback mix on the stage with the musicians. So it gives you the opportunity to fine tune things from places other than away from the desk. And once you're finished with this desk, hit log out and then goes back to there. So that's the QU app, really quite useful feature.